go through and show you guys how to merge all your contacts onto your Mac. For the most part, this is pretty easy, but sometimes they will all merge because the accounts are all set up to automatically sync with your Mac. So if you're having problems syncing all your contacts, this video probably might be able to help you. So first, go to System Preferences, and then click on Internet Accounts. And so for the most part, it's pretty simple. You go through and you add whatever account you want. It automatically connects you to the server and um, the service that you're trying to access, and it'll merge your accounts in automatically. Right here, it shows, um, you can see, like, it allows you to get mail, contact, calendars, and everything. And so for this account specifically, it worked out. But there's other accounts where it doesn't sync everything. Most importantly, in this case, your contacts. And so in order to sync all those, you have to export them from your account, in this case Hotmail, and then import them into your contacts. So let me show you how to do that. And so if I were to go to my Hotmail specifically, and from Hotmail you would go um, to your account and then click right here, and then there's a people one for all different email accounts. It's They have a pretty easy way of getting to your contacts on Google. It has the um, options menu up here that when you click on it, it has all those different apps and then contacts is one of them. But the point is um, they're all going to have the ability for you to export um, your contacts. And so right here under people, there's a manage option. You can export for Outlook. And what will happen is you'll receive this CSV value. And what that stands for is comma separated values is just a file format that um, uh, kind of lays things out like they would in a spreadsheet. So once you have all those things, you can go to your contacts. And within your contacts, you can go up to here and say file and then click import. And so a lot of times there'll be CSV files, sometimes there'll be different files, but um, I haven't had any problems in any of the ones I've tried to merge thus far, so you should be good. Um, in this case it's CSV, so you just open it up. Right here it's going to say, okay, so it's in this weird format. Um, we need to change it to a different format. And so here's the contacts format with first name, middle name. Here's how it is in the file with first name spelled out, middle name spelled out. And so it automatically matches you for, for you. And um, I haven't had any problems, so I didn't look through it specifically. But you can go through and edit those if you need to. And so you can just click OK for the first one. And it will come down, and it will say, OK, for the first one, we updated it. And this is how we're interpreting everything. And so it's going to work out fine. So just say apply to all, and then say import. And then it'll automatically import everything from that file. And so then you'll have all your stuff, in this case, from your Hotmail account. Now what's going to inevitably happen when you have all these different accounts on your on your um, contacts is that you'll have a lot of du duplicates. And so you can go up to Card, and then you can click on Look for Duplicates. And it'll automatically search them. And if it finds them, it'll find them. And then you can say Merge. And so if you have, like, three of your mom's names from your Facebook and your Gmail and your whatever, it will take, it'll have figured out that they're all the same name and stuff and it'll merge all the information together. And so it's pretty cool because then on your phone you automatically have like everybody's pictures and everything from Facebook so it um, works out pretty well. Um, and so let me know if you guys have any questions and that's the video. Thanks.